frustrating result, but hardly unexpected. Little Bobby here was not that resilient when he was alive, so I'd hardly expect anything different in his death. I didn't expect him to become a burnt out crisp though, maybe that voltage was too high and now I've got Barbecue Bobby to deal with. Hello! Hi, you're finally awake. Welcome back to the land of the living. Uh, for now at least. I was beginning to believe that the sedative I gave you was a little too much and that would have changed things a bit. <laughs> <laughs> There's no use in trying to move. Those straps are designed to restrain specimens much larger than you. Boop. So you'll only tire yourself out. I can't have you go damaging anything before I can process your body, after all. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, I thought it was rather obvious by now. You're in my lab, and as to where that is located, I'm afraid I have to keep that to myself. I can't be too careful after the last few experiments. Hmm? Ugh. Boring. You ask too many questions, and I find it so tiring to answer. No more. Hmm. Now, I can increase the voltage, but that's going to increase the danger level. <laughs> Enough of the screaming. No one is coming to help you. I can barely think straight with that noise. <sighs> Your friends are already taken care of, so I hoped to be working in peace. Uh, that's right. I already finished my work with your friends, so you are the last one. And if I'm honest, I was looking forward to you the most. Save the best for last, as the saying goes. <laughs> there. Perfect. Now that my notes are done, we can really get started. <laughs> what am I going to do? Hmm? What am I going to do? Why I'm going to use you. Your body is perfect for what I've been working on, so I'll need to examine you thoroughly to make sure I have everything I need. Your friend's bodies have already been processed, but I was rather disappointed with the results. The elf was too skinny. The orc too battle-worn, and the other human, Bobby, was his name, too short, and not resilient enough. The elven girl's eyes were very promising, however, so I made sure to save those. See? Such a pretty blue colour, and very keen. They will make an excellent addition to my collection. I know I'll find use for them eventually. <laughs> Again with the screaming, you're giving me a massive headache. So if you don't be quiet on your own, I'll make you understand. <laughs> Fine, have it your way. <clears throat> And that goes there, and that goes in your mouth. There. Much better. I can actually hear myself think. Hmm? What was that? I'm afraid you'll have to speak up. That gag is uh, rather thick. <laughs> oh, don't give me that look. You're lucky that I used a gag, rather than slice out your tongue, like I did with the orc. Or perhaps you'd like me to sew your lips shut instead? Hmm. I didn't think so. Now hush, I need to concentrate. Hmm. 
This tool would do the job, but I've used it so much recently and I'm feeling fancy. If it makes you feel any better, I won't be killing you. If you think about it, you aren't actually going to die. If your body is as promising as I thought, then I will be using most of you in my experiments and creations, meaning that you will live on through my work. Some organs here, some limbs there, your brain in another body. Oh, you'll become so much more than what you are now. You'll be immortalized through my design. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> That's more than I can say for your friends. The human girl couldn't really give me much, even after the dissection. So I had to dispose of her outright. The orc's body had a lot of battle damage, but he was certainly strong. His limbs and heart are going to be very useful. And as for the elf, well, I don't have to tell you of her beauty. <laughs> mm. She has the voice of an angel, so her vocal cords were definitely a keeper, and you already know about the eyes, such beautiful blue eyes. But as for you, you have much promise indeed. I can already picture how to use much of this body. Speaking of which, it's time for some measurements. Please hold still. Good, good, good. Your height is perfect for your age. Not too tall. Not too short. Excellently average. If your height was ever an insecurity, I hope you take comfort in knowing that I find you perfectly fit. Now, let me look at your muscles next. I want to test your strength, but I obviously can't untie you, lest you try something rash. So I have this little serum here that will do the trick. This may be a little uncomfortable, but it is necessary to get the desired measurements. This serum is going to cause your muscles to pump to the maximum size. It should recreate the feeling of you having just lifted a heavy object until failure. So your muscles will be a little bit uh, swollen. But once that's done, I can measure your arms, shoulders, and legs. Although it will feel like you're cramping up quite badly. Sorry about that. Ready or not, here I come. Hmm. <laughs> hmm, fascinating. If I am to be honest, I wasn't sure what to expect, but your muscle growth is rather impressive for someone your size. I knew you took care of yourself, but this is very pleasing indeed. All in all, you are quite the attractive one. I can see now why the elf called out for you so often. Oh, there, there, try to relax. The serum effects won't last much longer. Just try to breathe and let it run its course. If you struggle too much, your muscles may rupture. Mm, that's it. Shh, 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 shh. Relax. Good. The serum is wearing off. I told you it would be better soon, didn't I? And now that the measurements are done, give me a look at that face. You will need to get a thorough examination of your senses. So, why don't we start with hearing? <laughs> this will just be a test of your hearing capabilities. Really, I'm just looking for a reaction, so please feel free to squirm. Even better if you do.
My, my, you are a squirmy one, aren't you? Oh, but I'm having so much fun, and the sounds do get better, I promise. to know. There. There, that should be conclusive enough. Rather fun test, wouldn't you say? <laughs> I suppose there is one last thing to look over, and that is your hair. It won't do to have it all in tangles like this. If I'm going to use you, you at least have to look presentable. <sighs> You really are an exceptional specimen. Strong body, good senses, soft hair, and a rather adorable face, if you don't mind me saying. Even with a gag in it. Perhaps, perhaps there is some different use for you than I originally thought. <laughs> I see that curious look in your eye. Yes, perhaps it would be better to keep you around like this. Well, not necessarily bound to my table, although it is rather tempting. No, 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 I think you're too adorable to take part. I think I'll keep you around as an assistant. It has been a long, long time since I've had any company to that capacity. There is the question of your loyalty, though. It won't do to have you plotting against me, so I think some mind manipulation might be in order. Once you're complicit, then we can get on with bigger, better things. Hush. My mind is made up. I am going to keep you. And you're going to be my perfect companion. All oh, the things we are going to be able to accomplish. Hush. Shush, shush. Cease your struggles. I can already see your eyes starting to heavy. Seems my tests took more out of you than anticipated. Hmm? You sleepy. You can sleep now, sweet one. When you wake up, we will begin your conditioning. But until then, rest. Hmm, here. Let me help you sleep. This serum should do the trick. Shh. That's it. That's it. Don't struggle. And let the serum put you into a deep sleep. Shh. Shh. Hush now. Rest now, my darling. I will see you when you wake. I have such amazing sights to show you. <laughs> Hello, my delicious mortal. I hope you enjoy the audio. Thank you so much for listening to it, and a huge thank you to the author for their script. If you did enjoy my script, Phil, there's plenty more where that came from on the rest of my channel. You can also catch me streaming live every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10pm GST. 
If you have any ideas for scripts you'd like to hear in the future, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, a like and a subscribe really goes towards supporting my channel and helping me get through the algorithm. So once again, thank you for your company this evening and I'll see you next time.